Yeah, sorry. Ooh. I know, uh, usually, like, chat and the capture thing would be on separate windows, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, what do you call it? Um, but, um, what's it called? Oh, whoops. Am I going? Give me just a second. Yeah, I guess I, uh... Um, where was I? Right. For some reason, OBS Studio doesn't want to capture Blender as a window. So I, I'm forced to just kind of hack it and just go with the window cap uh, screen capture. So I can pick up everything. Alright. I guess we should start. Okay, so this is Blender when you open it up. Default cube and everything. This is what you're gonna find. I'm going to show you how I model something. I haven't decided what to model yet. What most people do is that they delete this default cube, but like, I kind of like default cubes, and I'm not going to delete it. Um, hmm. What's the first thing we should do? I think we should, yeah, yeah. let's go to UV editing. Alright, so now we're in UV editing. This is what it looks like if you like cut up parts of this cube so you can just squash it flat. And over here is the result. But I don't like that. It's uh, kind of confusing. You don't know where up is down or anything on this. So I'm going to press U and unwrap whoops press u and press reset there we go this will make each and every face just like a square here on the side which works very well for me because most of my stuff is squares all right so now we have the squares we're going to make a new image by going up here Hold on, can you see the cursor? Let me, let me double check. I think, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's in capture, it's, uh, it's in screen capture, so yeah, you can see everything I see on the screen. Alright, so, let's just click over on, um, yeah. Press new over here to create a new image. And we're going to make, well, it's, this is just a small one, so I'm going to make 5, 12, 5, 512. It can be blank. Press it alpha. We're gonna name this. I don't know what we're modeling, but I guess we'll just call it pixel texture one. Yeah, that sounds good. And press OK. Okay, okay. Now we have a uh, have a texture here. We're gonna click up here and go to image editor. Boop. And we're going to go over here instead of view, we're gonna go to paint. Ta-da! Now you can actually draw on this thing. 
I mean, this is very... Oh wow, that, that music is loud. Give me a second. There we go. That should be slightly better. At least for me. Because... That, that, that was really loud. Okay, where were we? Right. So, I don't actually want this big thing here. We're going to erase that. But, uh, press Alt S to save the image. Cancel. Uh, press save. Oh, it wants to save it externally. That's fine, I guess. Um, <laughs> I press cancel first. And I'm going to save the file as stream thingy. Save the enter file. Okay. And I'm going to press Alt S to save the image. And yep, it's a pixel texture one. Make sure it's inside the same file as your Blender file. Like, I named the Blender file stream to me. Oh, whoa, what's this? I don't actually see you. You see it on here. Oh, wait, this is only showing PNGs. <laughs> I'm so kidding. Save image. You can just make sure it's the same thing over here. See? OneDrive, pictures, 3D, screen thingy. OneDrive, pictures, 3D. So it's inside the same. Yeah. So save the image. Now this is already connected to this guy over here. To uh, actually see it though, you have to go over here. Oh no, it's not actually showing because we haven't set a material for this guy, I don't think. Oh, or we have. Hmm. Let's go to shading over here and let's figure out what's going on. Oh, because we didn't actually add the texture over here. So to add that, press Alt, no, Shift A, and this will bring up the Add menu, and you want to go into Input, uh, Input, Image, 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 Image. Uh, UV. Put that over here. Click UV map. Like, this default cube already has a UV map, so it's the thing that we were doing over here. This guy. This is the this is the image in UV map. So we go over here. No, over here. It's okay. You have the UV map, shift A, and then you're going to need texture, image texture. Over here. Click this to bring a drop down. And you'll see our image pixel texture one. And you want to connect UV to vector, and then color to base color. Ta-da! The thing is, we have alpha turned on for our image, but this just shows like a black box with a white spot on it. So what you want to do is, don't worry, it's not going to be a white spot for much longer. We're, go we're going to actually paint and do texture stuff to that. Um, but first we have to make sure that it is actually transparent. So from there, go to principle BDSF, right? Hmm. Oh, this is world. We don't want to be in world. We have to be over here in materials. Okay, so in materials, we go down over here in settings. If it's not open, just open it. We're going to turn on backface culling to save some rendering time. Blend mode, we're going from opaque to clip hashed. No, alpha clip. And then shadow mode from opaque to alpha clip. There. And then we have to drag this alpha label over here. This still, this. This is alpha, and you drag that down, connect it to alpha over here on the principal BSDF. Hmm, that should have worked. 
Oh no, it's not working. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Odd. Let's see. Settings. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is interesting. Let's, let's check how that is going on. Hmm. See, Blender is complicated because sometimes it's just for a while, it just does spawn work. So, we have alpha, normal, and dark base coloring, shadow modes. That is so odd. It should be working. And yet it's not. Let's go to texture paints. Figure out. Oh, is it? I think I, I think I, I think I know what's wrong. <laughs> I think the image already has. It's it's not alpha. It's just black. The image is just black. Okay, we can fix this. Like, okay, so going into texture paints, channel. We're going to well tab. We're going to press N. And then from texture draw, from blend mix, we're going to go to erase alpha. Okay, and then we're just gonna erase. There it is. See, it's erasing now. That's great. Huh? I thought I turned off back face color. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Back face. I guess it's only visible in. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's start from scratch and just erase everything here. <laughs> oh, wow. You can press F to increase the size of your brush. Press F and then drag up or down. And that should erase everything that was on screen. Good. Now we're going to make a brush because I like to do pixel work. And a brush that's all soft like this isn't going to do it for me. So we're going to switch from erase alpha to what do you call it? To mix. This stuff is also up here, so you don't actually need to open that. Just scroll up here. Alright. Now for radius, we're gonna go one pixel. And for strength, one. Go to advanced, turn off anti aliasing. There, there we go. And then on fall off, you wanna go custom. And then you press this little dot and you want to input 0.5 on x and 1 in y and you click this little dot and to that 0.51 oh wow and other and the y is going to be zero see it just sits in half and that should give us yeah there we go now we have a pixel brush <laughs> Hmm. Okay, now we have to decide how big we want each face to be. Like this is 516, no wait, 512 by 512. It would kill me to paint all of that. So we're just going to go over here to the corner. And start anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 16. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, why don't we just go? I, I like doing multiples of two for this. Let's go even simpler. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now we have a 
this one. 858. There we go. Go over here to film. Nice. Okay, so we want to change the UVs because right now our cube is uh, basically invisible. And that's not going to do very well, right? So we're going to go over here. Well, first we're going to see the image with Alt S. And then from paint, oh, drag this all the way back from here. From editor type, we're going to go to UV editor. Okay, press A, uh, press tab to go into edit mode. So you should see this all turn orange, or whatever color you have it. And as you can see, the UV is like really big. And our actual uh, painted part is really small. So we can fix that. Just press S and then drag. S, drag. While holding down control, I press G to grab. And put it over here. Now we're just going to zoom it in. Nice. Alright, oh, over here in image. No, wait, you use snap to pixels. We're going to turn on corner. This will make things way easier for us. There we go. Oops. There. All right. Now, this is actually a bunch of uh, different squares on top of each other. So as you can see, if you just click, we're going to grab each separate corner. We don't want that. So I just press B, and it'll bring up box selection. So you oh whoops. So you can select all of them. I'm gonna scale it with S, and then press zero on my keypad. So I'll drag them all back together. We're gonna make that back into a square. And now we're going to drag this corner with G and match it up to this corner. Good. Then click empty space to clear the selection. Then press B. And then grab. Clear selection. B. And then grab. There. Now we have a white cube. <laughs> um, kind of boring. But we can spice that up though. Right? Oh, hold on. I'm going to turn. I'm going to change some stuff inside the shading because it has. Yeah. Let's see here. What can we do? do, do, do. Mission string specular. Well, I'm gonna turn specular off. And then roughness also off. Sheen tint. Ah, uh, sheen's already off, so we don't have to worry about that. Yes, excellent. Alright, so we're going to go over here again to UV editing. Okay, so we have the UVs again. Now we're going to go back into painting. See, we're already in the uh, air time. Now let's choose a color. Actually, I'm going to erase parts of it because I think I don't want just the cube. I think I want a cage sort of thing. So let's go here and erase alpha. strange. That should have updated. Why is it still like that? Hmm. Click F12 to render. Yep, it's not updating. That is awkward. Hmm. Image. I 
haven't seen Indy though. Oh, okay. That is so weird. Oh, right. I see now. I forgot a crucial step. All right. So over here in shading, inside our material, we're going to go to the uh, te image texture. The linear, we're going to put it on closest. There we go. Now we can do the pixel stuff. And I'm so okay. <laughs> Right. Everything else should be fine now. So let's go back to UV editing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you can see, it's uh, not right side up. <laughs> Don't worry. It happens to the best of us. And also the worst of us because it's happening to me. And I'm pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Go back up here and go to UV Editor and hit A on your keyboard to select everything and then R to rotate everything. Now hold down Control so it snaps to like, yeah, and just turn it around until it matches what you see on your, on your uh, thing, on your 3D view. Now, if you want to, uh, no, you don't have to do all of them. You can just, if there's a specific face that you want to rotate, just select that face. As you can see, you'll see the selected dots over here. They're called vertices. And then you can rotate it however you like, like that. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I think we do need more pixels. 8x8 eight eight might not cut it for making your cage. Because, like, this looks chunky. All right, so we're just gonna go back into the image editor. One. Oh wait, we're just still in a race. Mix. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we just. Ooh. Hold on, I'm gonna set up brush, stroke, and stabilize. This should make things a little bit easier for me. Alright, so we're gonna switch back to UV. There's a lot of switching back and forth, so it's fine. Don't, don't worry. And then hit, hit A over here to get everything again. I'm just gonna scale it. And then grab it and scale it. If you hit shift and control, then it scales a little bit slower. So you kind of get the right. There. Hmm. Did I turn off snap to pixels again? Oh, yep, it's turned off again. UV, snap to pixels, corner. Just to make everything easier. There we go. So now we're going to go back over here to the uh, image editor and we can start painting again. Actually, let's erase a little bit of what you call it. We can erase alpha. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think stabilized stroke is working as I hoped. I'm turning the back off. Yep, there you go. Good. <laughs> that was just all the pixel doing. So we have a box. I'm gonna turn that into a cage by uh, just painting it on. Let's put some bars. Here. Is that too close together? Maybe we want it. 
You can undo with Control Z and then redo with Control Shift Z. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I was gonna go. We're, I'm gonna go with uh, two spade. Whoops. I'm gonna go with two. I'm doing this all with the mouse, so. <laughs> Don't worry if I mess up my strokes a bit. Ta da! The thing is, we can't see the inside of the cage, and that's because I turned off back face culling. If you turn that back on, you can see the inside of the cage, like, like that. I think that's really cool. I, I like that. Hmm. But I'm thinking, right? We want. I'm thinking that we want the top and the bottom of the cage to look different. And maybe like one one door of it, like one face of it, we want there to be a door so we can actually, well, like a door, because like it's not an. Oh wait, someone's actually in chat. Hello, Candy Cat. Nice to see you. Maybe I should type something. Hello, and then. Yeah, someone's actually in the stream. <laughs> oh well. Okay, back to work. Um, right. I'm going to set up a palette, which will make things much easier for me. So, uh, press N to bring up your tools. You can also, oh, whoops. It depends on where your mouse cursor is. Like, a lot of things in Blender depend on where your cursor is. See? Like over here. Press N. N usually brings up the side menu. Like on the on the right. So we're gonna do it over here. You can also do it if you press this like that. Like this little arrow. But I just press N because it's much faster. Okay, so what was I doing? Right, color palette. Over here underneath your colors is a color palette. I'm gonna make a new one. And we're going to name it Cage Colors. Then we're going to press Add. Well, first we're going to choose what color we want for the cage. I'm going to go with like a cyan. Like a cyan. Like closer over here is paler. You know, like less color. So it's like, like your saturation. Over here is full saturation. You want less saturation. And kind of yellow, well, green, greenish, cyanish over here. And then over here, you can adjust how dark or how light it is. How much white, how much dark. It's like, so this like tint or value or whatever. So it's a cage, so you want it fairly like, uh, I take it back, I want bluish. There we go. That's like a metal color. We're gonna go to fill and hope this works. It did not work, so we're just gonna... Oh wait, it's because they don't have... If you want the color to be shared with all your brushes, you can just click this guy, use Unified Color. Of course you're gonna lose the color that you currently have. So just remix your color. And... Over here... There. So not even gonna be going to paint. Uh, fill, I guess it's called fill. There we go. Back to detail work. Actually, back to making the color palette. Press over here to add your first color. Then I only want like a darker version of it. So more blue. And more saturation. I'm gonna add that. Alright. So to kind of cheat and add. Like, oh, actually, I think that might be a little too much saturation. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, drag it, drag the dot closer to the center to lower the saturation. And then on your palette that it already exists, right click. Um, hmm. Should just click it. 
No, wait. I, I, I forget how to place it. Give me a second. To be if you like. Hmm. I'm just gonna add. And then. Click the old one. And then delete the palette. There. And we only have the good one. Yeah, that looks more like a shadow than it does someone painting it for whatever reason. Alright, and we're going to add a little bit to the bottom. And that kind of gives it a little bit more... Hmm. Actually, it's here too. There! So now we have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more detail here. <laughs> Let's see. Strength controls how much the color will actually affect the image. So if you go down to 0.5, then uh, click over here. It makes a smoother transition between the shadows. And the base color. Mm, I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom too. With this, yeah, yeah, that works. But now we have a dilemma. As you can see on the top, it looks weird because, of course, there's no light coming from the side. So why is this part like? I just start darker than over here. So for the top, I'm going to want a custom, a custom, uh, what you call it? We're going to want a custom texture for the top and the bottom because they're going to look different from the sides. We also want a custom one from for the front where we're going to put the door. Now we could just paint all this again, but I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. So we're going to do clone. All right. Now, clone looks like it does nothing because it does nothing right now. What we need to do is go into advanced, turn off anti-aliasing because we're doing pixel textures. Then in clone image, choose the image we're currently using. Hmm, that looks weird. Okay. Alt, save. Try that again. Why does it still look like that? <laughs> Well, off all the way up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go image and rebuild. Maybe the opposite? No, it's still stuck. Why is it stuck to that? Oh, well, maybe it'll work out. All right, so we just drag it with right click. Oh, that is so odd. Why does it look like this? Oh, well, whatever. Let's resize the brush. Do I have snap pixels on here? I don't know. Oh, whatever. Um. And brush, right? We want the brush to be like. <laughs> Hello! Oh, don't worry about the card, though, it's a bit difficult to use. Like, I still can't figure out how to use it. I had no idea how to go manage. Hmm, let's go to fall off. And we want this to be as before. So where I'm just going to add like dots clicking on the line, dragging it where it needs to be. So 0. 0.51 there. And it's so weird. Why does it think that white blob's still there? It's not. We don't have that white blob there anymore. I don't think.
freaky. Well, we can already erase. We can just erase the light. As you can see, it's showing up over here. If you press right mouse button and drag, you can move where the clone stuff is going again. I want one down here as well. Okay, this will be the front door, and over here will be the top, like the roof and stuff. Let's increase that. Honestly, I just learned the uh, I just learned this brushy thing today. So, all right, we're gonna go to normal and scale down our brush. Okay, so now we have copies. They're not perfect copies, but it should save us some time. Let's uh, change blending mode from. Mix to erase alpha and all right, strength is increase that to one. I wonder if we could, like, oh, we can. All right, we can just go to fill tool and set blend to erase alpha and all raise chunks for us. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. See, you learn something new every day in Blender. Some people think that's annoying, some people like it. I think it's both annoying and I like it. <laughs> it's annoying. Alright. Hmm. I think I'll turn the top one into. Well, no, the bottom one into the one for the top and bottom. So we're just going to edit that a bit. Still erasing alpha. Okay. Now, if you want to color drop, you can just uh, click color swap, uh, color bit, like a color boxy thing, and then click over here to get the eyedropper. And there. Now you pick the color. We're going to add this one. The new color palette. There we go. So now we're going to go from erase alpha to mix. And well, this is a top. So like the size, I want the size to be solid. So let's make them the same color as normal. <laughs> okay, good night, Candy Cat. You should go to sleep. The night is for sleeping. Good night. Thanks for coming around. So, what was I doing again? I completely forgot. <laughs> um, right, painting. Nope. Wrong. So, Control Z. And then go back to X. Hmm. What do I think about it? I guess. Because it's made of bars, right? So it can't be evenly distributed. Alright. Well, so that's good, I think. But it's not showing up over here. That's because we haven't moved the UVs yet. So press Alt-S to save the image. You always save the image. Never not press Alt-S when you're switching over. Like if I have, those are mistakes. And please, please ignore them. <laughs> OK. So editor type, UV editor. Now we only want to move the top and the bottom. Because those guys are the ones. Oops. Let's switch from vertex select to face select up here. That would be easier. Select the top, select the bottom, press A to grab them all over here, and 
drag it into place. There. Now the top and the bottom are slightly different. I like that. Now we just need to make the uh, front door. Now you don't have to paint first. You can just grab the image here, grab the UV, and then paint it. This will actually be better because you can see the changes as you're painting. Now let's see. Let's make a door. Door, 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 door. There. Okay. So. <laughs> Technically, that's the door, but we want it to pop out a bit. So let's. Now we have a little cage. I think that's really neat. Hmm, should we make anything to put in there? Let's go and shading and see what it looks like. Uh, over here, viewport shading. Change that into this farther, and that's rendering. And wow, that is dark. It's like super dark. I mean, I like it, <laughs> but uh. Looks like we're gonna have to change some lighting. Go over here to layout. Oh no, we're back in default cube. We've deleted everything. No, it's not true. We're just in a different view mode. See? View mode. Wireframes. Flat faces. Textures. Rendered. In rendered, you can see how it... Well, you can see an approximation of what it'll look like after we press F12. Ta-da! Except not from the camera view. If press zero on your numpad, not on the number row on the top of the numpad, um, you can see through the camera. And what the camera sees is what you'll render out when you press F12. I kind of like it. It's it's looking nice. It's a little cage. <sighs> but we don't can't see much. We can't see much detail of the door here. Because it's in the shadow. So, what we can do is press 7 on your numpad to look from up. And you can drag the light, pressing G to grab. Just drag it over here to this side. And now you'll see it lit from over here. And you can see the door. It's not very strong though, this light. So, while having the light selected, let's go over here. To object data properties. And from over here, we can strengthen the light to 2000 watts. Maybe 3000, no, 5000 watts. Let's try doing that. Yeah, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Maybe we want some more light over here to see some of the details. So, yeah, let's add a second one of those. Uh, exit out, closing that. You won't close Blender, you're just closing that render out. So, press 7 again. So, from the top over here, and with your light selected, press Alt D. This is going to make a copy of your light, but has the same exact strength and all that. And if you change this one or this one, I'll change both of them. See if you make both of them super weak. Maybe 
you like one lot. See, both of them are changed. I just realized right now that we don't actually want that, so I need to press Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. There. And go back to top view. And instead of Alt D, I'm going to do Shift D. This is going to make a copy, but it's not connected to this guy. So you can change this one. And the other one's not affected at all. Control Z. And we're going to make this weaker. So we can still see shadows there. 1000, good. Uh, maybe we're going to drag that. Grab. I press Z, so it's only up and down. Good. Now, as you can see, now this one looks stronger because it's closer. So we're going to move it away a bit. Press C. Grab. And maybe a bit further away. Twelve. There. Hmm. <laughs> you have a cage. <sighs> hmm. Accessory reason we can probably make more stuff. Like what if we want the cage to be bigger? Oh in Minecraft you would just Make a second one and then stack it on top. We can do that too. Press Alt D to make a copy. Press Z, go up, and then hold down Control so you, so it like snaps and only moves a certain amount with each movement of your mouse. You have a taller one, and because we use Alt D instead of Shift D. Changing one is going to change the other. Whoop, 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 whoop. To cancel, you can always right click and it'll cancel the whatever operation you're doing at the moment. Like if you're moving. Press, yeah, there we go. <laughs> but what if you don't want that? We want the top to be slightly different. So instead of Alt D, we're going to press Shift D, Z, Control. There we go again. And we're going to go into Edit Mode by pressing Tab. We're going to delete that face on the bottom. Delete faces. We're going to get out of Tab Mode, uh, Edit Mode, select the other cube, and delete its roof. Alright, so now we have a taller cage, but it doesn't need two doors, I don't think. So we're just going to delete this door. But not like actually delete it. We're going to give it a different texture. Go to UV editing. Select this face. And select UV editor. Now I'll drag this. Back to the side wall. There. Now you have a taller cage. The band here is very thick. To lower that, what we can do is grab just the bottom two vert vertices here. So first, click off to deselect B. To select these bottom ones, G to grab, and then up. Now that fixes it for the front, but not for the sides. So we're going to change the sides to select those guys, give us a four, deselect, box select, drag up. And there you go. You now have a taller cage. Mm. Mm. And if you want them to be one item, 
So when you drag the top, the bottom comes with it. Select the top, select the bottom, and then go Object, Join. Ta-da! Now it's just one item. You can drag it all around. Hmm, what else should we make? Cage is a little bit boring, you know? Maybe we had something to put inside? Yeah, let's make a little guy. Let's do a little pixel guy. Just like a pixel sprite guy. Alright, so we're going to press Shift D to duplicate this guy. This uh, cage. Go to edit. And we're going to delete every face except. The front two faces. Delete faces. Ta-da. Hmm. These aren't connected inside the UV, so you can't keep them to have a guy in it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to connect them. This was on the bottom, so we're gonna drag that over. And then this guy, we're going to grab. Oops. Make sure that you grab all. Press A to select all. Uh, over here, I think. I select both of them. That's still not collected. So we're just going to go. Grab these two. Hmm. Yeah. Now exit and drag this to the center of the cage. Press Y and then hold there. And we're going to rotate that around the Z axis. Actually undo that because the center of our object is this orange dot. So we want these faces to be where that orange dot is. So grab the faces and edit mode. Alright. Now we'll rotate and see. There. As you can see, there's nothing in there yet because we haven't drawn him or her or whoever. So, let's do that now. Go over here and make sure to alt save again. And where are we? We are in type UV editor. We want to be in, actually yeah, let's press tab first. We want to be in image editor. Yeah, there we go. I guess this is a remnant from earlier with all the black everywhere. So we're just gonna delete that. Good. And now we can draw the person that we want to put inside. Um, I guess I'm just going to pixel draw a guy. I don't know which guy. As you can see, you'll you'll find out what you're drawing is showing up over here already. And from here, it's just like a drawing. Maybe it went a bit lighter. No, you will see. Bit of a pinkish nose ish area. I 
Actually, he has yellowish eyes. I always default to eyes being like white because of cartoons. Let's give him some eye highlights. Just make those entirely white. And can't forget the people. So we have him. <laughs> Let's give him his ears. You cannot forget. Is tooth. Oh, whoops! Not gonna race. In the world is a deep dive. You can draw whoever character you want here. I'm just drawing my Yinglet. He has been imprisoned for crimes. What crimes? Who's to say? Actually, drawing the feet first might be easier. That way I know where his hips are going to be. It turns out over here. Not much room for his tail. But we'll get that later. I'm using these colors a lot, so I'm just going to add them to my palette, so it's much easier. Yeah.
Uh, maybe later. Okay, so he's not entirely on model, but I think this works. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered his arms are actually his arms and legs are actually two colors from this part. So we're gonna go and mix those up. Okay, I have jailed my boy. <laughs> Let's escape to close the uh, Randy thing. Um, hmm. Press up as a saved image, and I think. Yeah, yeah. I think the light's actually a little too harsh, too heavy on him. So let's. 4,000 instead. Okay, no change. 2,000 instead. Okay, and it's cutting out the top part of the cage. So to fix that, we'll go back to layout, click camera, press O to look through the camera. Now, if you want to change the shape of the render, you can go over down here to... Nope, this guy, Dimensions. Dimensions will change how big it is. We're going to make a 720 by... Uh, let's do 720... Actually, no. Let's do 720 as the big one, and the size is the small one, so... 720 divided by no wait, multiplied by 3 and then divided by 4 that gives us 4 uh, 540 that's what's really good about blender you can like do math inside these things it's really neat now with the camera selected i'm just gonna press g to grab z to grab up and then center and then press G, Z, and then Z again. This will change the direction. Let us zoom in and out. 
um, grab the Z just one time. Just it. There. Hmm. I think I want to move the light a bit so the so the shadow is less is less on his face. We can actually see him. So we're gonna press. We're gonna select the the light. And go up here. Now if you. Okay. Uh, press Shift S. And we're gonna do cursor to world origin. That's gonna put that weird red and white circle in the very middle of the scene. Now we're gonna press no wait, click up here. Transform pivot point. We're gonna set it to 3D cursor. Now we're going to press R and Z with the mouth with the light selected. And it's going to let us just turn the light around. There, now good, good. Good. Now it's a bit weak still. So let's change the intensity at like four thousand again. And then render. Now you have jailed one of your characters. Congratulations. Today? Okay. Okay, so now to save this, you go to image, save. And then we'll name it something like Cage Boy. And save this image. There. Now it's inside the thing. I go to editing, press Alt S to save the image. Well, save the texture. And then Control S to save the thing. And then you can exit out. Ta da! We're done. We made our boy inside the cage. I didn't know we were going in this direction when we started this, but I think it's pretty good. Okay, thanks for joining the stream, and I'll see you in the future, I guess.